What's up, y'all? I'm coming at y'all with another video of a Nike Vapor Elite jersey. This particular Nike Vapor Elite jersey is the Washington Commanders black alternate version. And um, three of the jerseys were revealed last year, the white one and the burgundy one and this one. And um, the first two were made available right away, but the black alternate was not made available until last November. And um, even then, I think they only had the game and limited versions available. So this is the um, elite version. Um, and as you can see, McLaren, and that's Terry McLaren, or F1, Scary Terry, or the captain, or the face of the franchise, whatever you want to call him. Um, it's safe to say he's my favorite player, as this is the third jersey that I've gotten of his. So I have, actually have the collection of the commander's jerseys he's um had three straight thousand yard seasons had a career year last year of 1191 yards and also he almost had a thousand yards in his rookie year so that would have been four straight thousand yard seasons but still it was pretty remarkable with who he he's had thrown to him he's had over like 10 quarterbacks thrown to him so um Starting to get noticed in the NFL. Um, he actually made the top 100 list, voted by his peers. Um, he made number 94, which I think he should have been higher, but nevertheless, he made it. And um, he was recently on the Pivot Podcast, which is hosted by Ryan Clark, Channing Crowder, and Fred Taylor. All those are former NFL players, as you should know. And uh, it's a pretty good interview. It was an hour long, but, you know, it was worth listening. So check it on YouTube. You just go to the Pivot Podcast and you should be able to see it um, on their archives of the videos. So anyway, um, without further ado, I am going to do the review. And as I usually do, I'm going to go from top to bottom and bottom to top, front to back, whatever, what have you. So here we go. Now here, as you know, with all these jerseys, you know, they have a theme. Whereas the other two jerseys, the white one and the burgundy version, um, they had the stars, which represents the DC flag. Well, this particular jersey has um, one mission, which that's our theme that goes along with our new name, which is it's a military um, slogan, basically. And um, as you can see, it's um, embroidered, very nice embroidery. And then here you have the, um, the camo pattern, which is a variation, um, just one of the many variations of um, the camo that they have. Um, there's a company called, I think it's called Crytek that has different variations of camo. So I think um, that's one of the camo patterns they actually use. And then, so we're gonna go on the inside here. Um, this is the neck tag here, as you can see is uh, stitched on. And then you, know, you have the tags, the different tags and things like that. Not gonna go into the, what I paid and all that kind of stuff. That's redundant at this point. And then here you have the um, NFL Shield logo. And as you can see, like I've mentioned before, you know, it actually protrudes very nice. Um, metallic looks 3D. Very nice, like a hologram. And then you have the chainmail mesh, of course. Very tough material. You can pull on it, tug it. I've done a lot of things. I think at this point, you probably have to actually cut this and maybe with some good, with a good knife or something like that in order to compromise it, which that's something I would never try, but just saying. And it's transparent. You can't quite see it, see through, but it's actually transparent. And then here, this particular jersey has five patches and this is the first one. I'm 
a patch lover. So this is this particular jersey is a patch lover's dream. So that's one of the many reasons why I like it. Actually, it's the primary reason why I like it. But as you can see, this is the Commander's logo. Um, and it's actually um, like a rubberized material. It's very nice. And that's actually our logo. And that's the Commander's foot for our team. And then here's the numbers here. You have the double stitch twill, which is burgundy. Very nice. You know, you got people that says that these particular jerseys are knockoff of the Steelers <laughs> alternate jerseys. I'm laughing because that's ridiculous. Um, because the Steelers, they use one color on their alternates, which is um, gold. And then on the sleeves, it's actually two stripes, uh, a wide stripe and a, um, and a narrow stripe on the sleeves. It looks nothing like this. If anything, this little part here kind of reminds me of Florida State's um, black alternate uniforms. But nevertheless, but um, this is the fabric. And then on the numbers here, like on the burgundy elite jersey, um, this look like a rubberized material here. And then we're going to go to the... Um, the jock tag here and um, very nice material as you've seen before and then down here you can see preparations which this jersey is black so it's kind of hard to see them and um, but as you can see you know and actually go up like about right here which I could show you on my other jerseys, but you know, can't really. Well, you actually can. Okay, here we go. Kind of stops right here. Yeah. And then we're gonna go to the sleeves here. This is like my favorite feature here. Now this particular patch here is the DC flag itself. Cause like I told you with the other two jerseys, they had the three stars that represents the DC flag. Well, this is the DC flag. And this is very nice. It's a rubberized material. Very nice. And then, of course, you have the um, Nike swoosh. As you can see, the bling on there. Nice patch. And then you have the camo pattern again. Now, this particular camo pattern on the sleeve is not heat pressed. None of this jersey is heat pressed, which is very impressive. And I actually like that. And then here's the the elastic sleeves here, which hug on your arms. And it shows your arm definition. Very cool. It actually makes um, <laughs> this jersey is like it's, it's a pad, uh, uh, shoulder pad ready, I would say. But yeah, and then on the other side, you have another patch, and this is the crest, which you've seen on the other uh, two jerseys as they're located on the back of the jerseys. And this particular um, crest patch is a little bit different because as you see, the color is gold and um, burgundy, and it also has, um, well, the other one has the um, the years that we you know won the championships, Super Bowl, and things like that. But this is just by itself here. And then of course you have the gold swoosh here, um, you know, the patch. So like I said, that's five patches: one, two, three, four, five. And then same thing, the elastic. Um, band and the camo very nice and then as far as the fabric goes now this jersey here because the other one is not a hundred percent polyester but this actually is and of course it's dry fit and has that storm fit material which is um, waterproof and um, 
Basic like Gore-Tex, like I mentioned before, um, you probably have to really, 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 really soak this in order for it to get, really get wet. But in like a rainstorm or something like that, you know, it'll just get darker, you know, from the water, but um, it won't get real wet. And um, that's just very, very good material, you know, as you can see. So now I'm gonna go to the back of the jersey. And as you can see, it's the neckline here with the camo. And this is the name plate. And then this is the actual name. Now this is different. In some ways, I wish they just would have had just the name by itself, you know, spread across. But they decided to just add this, you know, it adds some flavor. I actually like it. It's pretty cool. You know, and uh, this is single stitch twill here. And then here's the numbers again. Double stitch twill. You see there's two colors. It's burgundy and gold. Not the Steelers jerseys. And of course, I forgot to mention this. The, uh, the stitching here. And here's the uh, Y-shaped, which I call a fork and a roll, because you stop and then you go all the way down. And then go up again and stop. And go all the way down. And that pretty much concludes the review of this jersey. Um, like I said, um, this jersey is very unique. And um, as you've seen, it doesn't look like the damn Steelers jerseys, folks. You know, it looks a little bit different in person. The Steelers jerseys do not look like this, period. So stop, because <laughs> it don't. But... um. And for those that say that, they never seen them in person. Well, you seeing it in person, and it's, it's not the same. Now, one thing I can say when I've seen them in games, the um, the gold actually pops a lot more on TV as the burgundy jerseys the, the, um, do with the gold on it. It really uh, shimmers and it, like highlights very nice. But um, if anybody is thinking about picking up one, I'd highly recommend that you do. They're different. Um, they're nothing like any jersey we've ever had, including our other two, you know. And I could argue that these are some of the best looking alternate jerseys on the market. I mean, I like the Ravens. I like the Buccaneers the uh, gray ones and the lion's gray ones. You know, a lot of people have pretty cool ones, but this is very nice too, folks. You you got to admit, you know, with the two, you know, patches up here and, you know, it's pretty cool. And also, um, I wish they would wear them more because as of now, they only have them to be worn for like only like two home games. And that's the Thursday night against the Bears. And then the, of course, the Giants, home game against the Giants, so I wish they would wear them a little more. And you got a lot of fans that wish they would wear them more, too. And also with these uniforms, well, with these jerseys, with the pants, they have this um, camo um, variation as well, like on the middle part of the, of the thigh. And I never noticed that till I saw some pictures. And, um, yeah, so it's that, that's that military theme. But nevertheless, um, enough rambling for me. This is, like I said, this is a review of the Nike Vapor Elite Washington Commanders black alternate jersey. And I'm out.